Alright, we're getting right back into it. We're now moving on to the second tier of movie theaters. Already? I mean, what? I didn't think the first tier was so short. Pizza is so warm. Yeah, so the fir that first tier was just the first two stages, and we finally went on to level three, the wood puppet. Oh, devil damn it. Is this the level I think it's going to be? What, what do you think it's gonna be? No, 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 oh, no, it's not toy, no, I'll, I'll tell you right now, the to the one with all the toy stuff, that, that is the final level before the final boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this is completely more, unrelated. Uh, with a maximum price of 30k, uh, this one's far more, think of it more like, when they mean wood puppets, they basically mean like, living mannequins, so oh. anybody who has a phobia of mannequins, uh, yeah, have fun. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's like those drawing mannequins. George McClure. McLaughlin. McLaughlin. That chainsaw instantly. I'll just call him Mikhail. So he wanted to try and cut down an ancient tree that was 800 years old. He wanted to be a legend of lumberjacks, but then the tree actually grew a face and ate him. Oh. Huh. Cut me down to size, will you? Well, no one cared what. No one cared about you. what happened. To him. I'll chop you down to size. And then it's like nobody cared what happened to him because he was a loner anyway. So <laughs> mystery solved. Well, wow. that's just so. being too presumptuous. New workers took over the mill. New workers took over the mill, and everything went smoothly until. Don't worry, it's narrated later. as well. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There's a deeper voice. Sorry. No, no. So it's okay. the lesson. So the lesson of today's movie is. Speak to the trees. They have feelings too. This is the Lorax. <laughs> yeah, you know, really weird wor world, anyway. The, the operated Lorax. Uh, yeah. Actually, I wasn't gonna go operated Lorax. I'm reminded of this one artist. Oh I snap! Hello, little mannequin. It's a it's a literal wood it's a literal wooden reference puppet. Those yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can draw are from him. You can use him. He can make a pose. Yeah, assuming you got the assuming you got the kinds that can actually bend more than fucking what, two inches. Yeah, they're always very stiff because they're trying to be believable poses. But yeah, so we have wood puppets, and for anybody who missed in that little bit there, this mill has been suddenly not really making like furniture or anything like that. They've been making these little puppets, and whenever and whenever the whenever somebody opened the box, the puppet would jump out and start chasing them. They would kill it, but they would notice that the puppet would bleed. So we need to figure out what is making these puppets, why are they bleeding, and we can actually, oh wow, we'll actually win like 120k actually. Hmm. Why did it say 30k earlier? Oh, whatever. It said so, $30, not 30k. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, I mean early, okay. And again, um, like my friend, like my friend Mike was telling me, like, he, he's sticking with Erico because since, nice, Horror Monitor is right nearby this time. Well, that didn't take since, long. since, um... Since Eriko is gonna have to be the one you end up doing a new game plus run with anyway, and you know doing the final boss, that's why he sticks with using her because it's like, think of it like uh, with uh, like, I think we talked about this. Think of it like when you're playing Kingdom Hearts and you want to give all the stuff to Sora anyway. Well, like, it's, it's, all this? well, in that case, it's because he's the only one you can play as. What the? Oh! It's a test dummy fight. Oh shit! And and we have no and we have no weapons, so uh, we need to get out of here. Over here, you big dummy! We need to arm ourselves. Whoa! This, oh, that this, was a close this, one. This, Whoa, oh god, this, this test dummy knows martial arts. I my gosh. And uh, okay, so uh, like yeah, beyond that, we're just dealing with a typical kind of zombie, uh, I guess, story you could call it this time around. I mm hmm. Yeah. What oh. the? Oh no! It's alive! Oh. Also, we're dealing with a demon tree, not the Fern Gully one. This one's actually like menacing. <laughs> uh oh. Unfortunately, this, this menacing demon tree is does as no does is not voiced by uh, fucking Tim Curry either. It would have been awesome. Oh but... no. <laughs> I mean, Gritty, uh, honestly, he, I know I, he didn't voice not... a tree in Fern Gully. He voiced like this black ooze or whatever. Uh oh. Spot. Ah. Oh, jeez. <gasps> yep, that trap got us. Ow. We'll be okay. We'll walk it off. So yeah, we gotta be cautious. But uh, honestly, I would not even like. It, it would be it would be surreal and silly, yes. But I wouldn't even like. I wouldn't even put it past this game to suddenly throw in Tim Curry as a freaking guest star just to weird out the people. Yeah. Oh, what the? Hello. It's a little test on you. But oh. we but we were ready for it, so we don't get spooked. We just need to get out this car. Hey, over here! Jeez. I I guess I know this is pretty um. 
what's the word? Like, I know it's a little, oh jeez. Uh oh. The game is not like rendering in this area. I think it's because it's trying to render in that blue flashy square every time, and that's. Like, come on, you can climb up down. it like that. I mean, we'll you, get out of here. you say that, Logan. I still remember back when we were covering that other project that uh, Mecha recorded for us. There was some slight stuttering here and there as well. I just think that's a, that's a problem with his own capture software. Well, it's like. Right, like it. So it's two things. Like the one, the one time with nuts and bolts, that was because he was using a mobile app sort of thing to record off of his Xbox, since that was like a new system. This one, I'll be honest, and he's using a, uh, he's using a an emulator called Null DL, N Null DC, Ugh. a Dreamcast emulator. I mean, honestly, I've never even heard of that. Like, if you're gonna go for a Dream Dreamcast emulator in this day and age, it yeah, Redream or bust. I, I, you know what? I will probably recommend that to him then. I was I, I the one I, I was mainly using Null DC for a little bit myself mainly because it allowed me to uh, uh, I was like I, I was able to load in like a retranslated file or something. Okay, finally out of that area. So we're in the McLachlan Museum. Gosh, you must stink in here. Uh, I yeah, I'm with Mecca. I'm not trusting those saw blades one bit. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, they look like they're ready. Don't even go near them. Uh oh, <laughs> you forgot those saw blades. Except oh, that one. <laughs> Ow! Hey, who? We got one right. <laughs> I just love that. It's like I've been impaled. Cool. And cool. nice. Thank you, Eric. Oh, yes, you're, you're you're a wonderful, wonderful character. Let, let's get out of here alive now, and let's avoid. Let's be careful of the chainsaws. What the? Oh, okay, just kind of flicked a bit. There's an item around here. Is it in the corner? Ah. There we go. Purple stuff. And yeah, the. And yeah, that, those little things we find, those are like, those are like the pieces of hearts. We Wait need a to second. I wouldn't trust that Hello. mannequin. My name is George McLaughlin. McLaughlin. I came to this beautiful forest seven years ago as a woodcutter. Hey, little animatronic. That's really all I knew how to do. <laughs> oh! Oh, I knew that was happening. Okay, that tree branch does not like, uh... <laughs> The animatronic. Also is it wrong? Is it? I'm sorry. Is it wrong that I would expect at that would. exact would. moment after that? Yeah, would after that ha all happened? It's like, pay no mind to what you just saw. I could still talk without a head. Yeah, I don't. Mario, you weren't really going to be a good uh, lumberjack there. I'm sorry. Why, why does a mannequin have meat and sinew in it? I. That is a question we need to figure out, but we're at least armed. Yeah, uh, cool. Thanks. Also, I'll have you know that I can cut down any tree without even without even trying. Heck, I don't even need this axe. I got fists of steel, baby. Yeah, that, that's probably <laughs> better probably than what could. I was gonna say. I was gonna imply he would cut down the trees by chomping on the bark like Taz would do. <laughs> I wouldn't put I, it past them, really. I actually would not. I, yeah, freaking go all like Warrior World, go and just turn his head sideways and. Uh, this is what I call the ultimate. And this is what I call the ultimate vegan experience. <laughs> he would try and sell that as a vegan diet. Uh, high in fiber, and it can all be yours for the low price of forty nine ninety nine per block. Okay. What's in there? Aha, it was a trap, but we stopped it. Act now and you'll even get this free free salt lick. Hearing? But don't lick it. I can for you to... I don't know where I'm going with this. Don't okay. lick the tods. No, we were talking about the salt licks, although I just imagine, now that you say that, there's free salt lick. It's just a poor toad that has salt poured all over it, all over him. I was and I was about to actually to say with like the don't lick the toads. Like I, I I'm sure Jordy was maybe referring to like the amphibian, but I actually now just thought of just a toad. Oh, that's what I, I said. Wa what? I was referring to the amphibian because of the medieval commentary we did. Right. Which, oh, by yeah. the oh, way, so at the time of us recording, it's been almost a year ago since that happened. Which, ergo, it's been almost a year since I created Hector Scarborough. Oh, has it really been that, that long? Was Apparently. it really? Uh oh, oh. more blades. Hey, where the hell are those things? Ah! The hell are those things? Just, just spears? I, this is the barrel, guys. Come on. Man, I. Yeah. Oh, right. Man, and I thought acupuncture would be fun. Okay, we need to get some more healing items. Oh, oh god, her head! <laughs> I was. Uh, <laughs> so, so she's using the horror monitor. Don't, Behold, oh, I may disappear. Oh no. Uh, hello, Crap, tree. Do that was the right one. Well, I should have done the window. Oh, I don't you think know he's what? Good at this. 
he is good at this. It's just they're they're close together and like the the they're a little vague sometimes. The areas. Go ahead, James. I was about to say. Now it's starting to get interesting. It's it, the levels do get harder and especially it. like the shopping. Like they they start they they will start to throw more and more traps and once again like I want to say um, they have it. There's there's like there's almost like a randomization kind of thing where like. Even if you memorize where each and every trap is, you can't just go into a room and just put it everywhere because sometimes the trap won't be active that playthrough. The more this, yeah, you know mm -hmm. that stuff. Think about this. Does seem like the kind of game that would that could work under a um, what's the like word? Like roguelike. Yeah, like a, exactly like a roguelike RPG. Honestly, honestly, yeah. If someone wanted to make it, oh, the wood puppet boxes. Oh boy. Uh oh. Well, you know, but no, yeah, yeah, honestly, honestly, if there, if someone wanted to take this kind of concept, and the wood puppets, Hi. Oh, no. oh, helicopter man, helicopter. Nice. Well, let's chop them down to size. Oh boy! Oh. Whoa! What? Stop it! Why is he bleeding? Oh yeah, you're right. We forgot he was bleeding. <gasps> no, right, I'm sorry. To it's fine. We're fine. We just have to. Whoa. Oh, Damn. oh wow, that that, that attack animation lasts well, a long time. Well, I'll give him I'll give him this much. At least he is far more bendable than your typical uh, for yeah, reference yeah, puppet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that cool. was Got funny the way he that. died. I kept calling them. I think I kept calling it focus points or whatever. But yeah, I, I learned I learned from Mecca. They're actually called adrenaline points. And uh, let's just say reads rant. Wait a minute. Randy. That's our friend. That's the guy who looked like Brock. Son of a bitch. Where is Randy? Crap, we gotta find him. I think we found him. Oh! No, that's not him. Oof. But... Really? Well, then who is it? <laughs> you see, this oh, it is Randy. There he is! He's oh. stuck! Is and he, he has no idea what he's doing! Wait a second. Didn't we see you earlier before? No, okay, those are actual just straight up lumberjacks, and yeah, these lumberjacks are like testing the wood puppets or something. Well, shit. Also, I don't know why, but seeing that seeing that little course that oh, uh, uh oh, Oops. hello. Oh, that's a little spoiler because that was the tree with the face on it from the thingy. But we'll we'll be take we'll be talking with him later. That was just a spooky f to try and raise our heart rate, so we gotta be careful, otherwise we'll die. Anyway, why you know did why did he just yeah, suddenly I'm run okay. like that? Did he just legitimately forget? I just feel I, I bad guess. for Erico. Yeah. But yeah, no. But don't don't forget, like her whole thing is like she can't get scared by anything nowadays. Like after all the stuff that happened, like with her father and her. But uh, oh, and I'm Rose. Oh, oh boy! Hello, Mr. Hello, Tree. Um, you wanna yeah. come down here and do tree things with me? Oh, hey! What the? Uh, what are, no, thank you. What are, Cut yeah, that out. Yeah, I don't think I would want to screw a tree. I don't know what tree things are, but anyway, let's get to it. But uh, I remember now the cor the course that that wood puppet was running just kept reminding me of the torture chamber or the punishment chamber from. Uh, oh, the torture room. room. I'm really which, sorry. Which I'm still surprised out of, like, surprised I never activated in that playthrough. I'm really well, sorry. You, you took such good care of the of the surf bot. You didn't need to punish any of them. I guess. Like, I figured I'd have at least one that would just, that would get lazy. I'm <laughs> really sorry, Jordan, but you, you just making that comment, I just imagined the tree snap it back being like, You of all people aren't allowed to kink shame me. <laughs> Why the trees? Because I said I wouldn't want to screw a tree. Oh, I was actually, yeah, no, but, but real quick, like, but that whole with the Scarecrow with Hector, was that really inspired by the medieval commentary? Yeah. It was, yeah, because of the Scarecrow enemies. Huh. Oh, hang on, we're about to learn about the wood puppets. Ooh, okay, so, what's going on? That shoot Do comes a body. Hi. So that's just a, either an unconscious dude. Uh, Whoa. Oh, okay, it's Taylor. I just realized maybe it's a good thing that this game comes from a, a, a bygone era because that would not fly today. Nah, but low po the low poly makes it a lot easier to pretend it's censored. So a body gets put in there, then stripped of its muscle. Oh! oh. Which makes me realize, poor Randy. But wait a minute, yeah, is he still intact? Him. Uh, possibly, I don't know. He's already in the puppet, so we just gotta um, figure out where me, he sir, is. Excuse me, sir, but you're having a lot of really messed up things going on here. Piece of wood. I guess <laughs> I he's taking a nap. Wood. I think we need this wood because uh, we're learning. We'll learn later. Like these wood puppets are being made with a little bit of that old tree. Oh, oh, he's oh, like, oh that's my wood. Oh, 
He's a he's a meanie. And you don't say. I, oh, and I don't think yeah. As you're noticing here, as I've as I, I don't think we've shown it off just yet. But yeah, there is going to be some combat encounters like the worm boss fight in the previous stage, or this like this mid boss, I guess. Some boss fights and attacks and encounters will not give you the uh, helicopter get out of jail free card. You do need to fight them. But right. Oh. Cool. She oh, married the someone. Yeah, no, she is the epitome of the. You've killed me. Cool. Oh I mean, God. all things again. We brought it up before. Like, she's more or less desensitized to a lot of this crap. Yeah, because of her dick of a dad. Yep. I just had an idea. Uh, I just had an idea, and I will. Uh, I'll leave it a surprise for people watching the video. Okay. I, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna know what I just thought of, but the, but they'll see. I it. think I. I think I do, but I'll play along and not say what it is. Cool, cool, cool. So that's follow the muscle and sinew that was uh, remained. That was taken away. Just. That's really not comfortable to fit. Oh, ooh. Let's oh. avoid these people Ew. growing on the trees. James, are you telling oh. me that you're feeling uncomfortable with this visual that's in a horror genre thing? It's it's unsettling. It's like this is like I don't know how to describe it. Like they, they they this game does a really good job of making unsettling imagery with all the low poly stuff. Yeah, that, yeah. like that's the that's something I'll definitely give it, despite how corny as fuck it all is. Right. Okay. So now that we had the blood and muscle and sinew, now yeah, we carve out a new body. He will make you perfect. And voila, we've just put a person into a wooden puppet. Ha. Shape. Now, how? Do, what do we do about the eyes? Nothing. Actually, it's quite good on toast. Now get out. That's like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my god. Uh... Just oh yeah, now we, now we know how these wood puppets are created. Yes, and... Ooh. Uh oh, uh -oh. fire! Good thing we weren't close to that, right, Erico? Nope, yeah. <laughs> we just stood uh, right in. How are you right over there? I don't know, like, that. that what I say is, like, sometimes with the way the camera zooms in, it's like, we're well, we're well far away from the trap when it actually goes off. It's, I, I mean, mean cool. it, if it means anything, considering how far, how far we've come, like, she's not much worse for wear at the moment. Right. Oh, so, at the very most, she has to worry about her heart rate. Yeah, don't want to have a heart attack now, but so far, okay. Yeah, and as you, yeah, and as you also just saw there, totally, they are definitely going to start stacking traps upon traps if you aren't too careful. Um, could be an item or an enemy in these boxes, so he will be careful, and Mecha will place some adrenaline points. Um, was it ever mentioned how much, how, like how far your heart rate can go before you do suffer a heart attack? I'll look that up actually. I didn't <gasps> Hi. Get out of oh, here, no. Johnson. He's kind of just silly looking. All right, I'll look it up, actually. Uh, heart rate. It'll bleed, because, yeah, I don't know. My guess is that, first off, it may have something to do with, um... It may have, um... Something to do with, like, the stats that you give each of your characters. But, yeah, let me look up first. Oh, jeez. I mean, you know, now that's top of thinking about it, even though they, they essentially, you've essentially put the meat, back, the meat sack into a wooden puppet. I oh. Oh. What? Um, Randy's brain. We, we found oh. So that is actually very important. And it's very important that Mecha grab that because I actually will get to explain to you an interesting uh, thing about our friend Randy uh, that we'll see, that we'll, we'll, be, we'll probably get to talk about it more in the next part. But uh, basically saying. What Mecha just did there was technically optional. You don't need to get that item to beat the game. But you do okay. need it if you want to save your friend. Technically, no. What? Huh? Uh, more, and I will explain more about that in the next part, absolutely. But, um, okay, oh, three two two one pieces of 2 by 4 were purchased at $3 each. Huh. Uh, that so seems pretty um, cheap. Specific. So if we use this piece of wood as a key on the oh. right there. <laughs> okay. Of course. We use that as I a key. Don't know how it works. So use the three two two one, I believe. Oh wait! Nine, oh, six, six, it's three two two one times three dollars each for the total. Oh, price. oh sneaky! Oh. That's a pure Resident Evil shit right there. Oh hello. Listen up, my wood cutting slaves. Hello, I am the tree. I'm here to he's tell just, you no, listen, three he's things. Just like... And then, wham! You'll be a wood puppet too. I don't think you'd like that now. He was just totally casual, like. 
Hi there, uh, Tree Businessman here. Uh, woodcutting slaves, doing great. Uh, just make sure to keep production up on top. Otherwise, uh, we're going to do something really dangerous now. Yeah, you're, they're, they're about to put they're about to put the, put manufacturing into overdrive. And we will disguise ourselves. What? How did you do that without getting killed? Are, were you in the wooden portion of it? Yeah, we yeah we, we skipped this we we skipped the skinning stage. I'm more we just jumped straight oh, into the wooden shell. In that. Don't, Don't ask, ask questions you're not prepared for the answers to. Do, it could be a one it could be a one size fit all thing, or it's made to fit the body. Like it scans uh, it, maybe? Uh, possibly. As far as for now, though, unfortunately, this is our best way to get close to that demon tree and to hopefully find wherever they took Randy. Oh, boy. Um, uh, wait till, wait yeah. till see we get to one of this. <laughs> oh, boy. And, uh, yes, I will explain why that brain is somehow optional in the next part. Stay tuned. Okay, bye-bye. I'm sure Randy can live without it.